Pablo has scored in the last two of those three. Samid, the number 21 for Ghana, making his senior debut in this game. to find the run. Barnier, say for Ian Summer in the end. Good run, though. He timed it to perfection across the angle there between the two central defenders. Ghanaian supporters in the crowd. Plenty of noise every time they get into the final third. Yep, and Uruguay in their World Cup Group H. For the Swiss, it's Cameroon, Brazil, and Serbia. It's a tough group. Switzerland find themselves in Group G. So, only one player in the Ghanaian starting 11 actually plays his football in Ghana. That is uh, the number 13, Daniel Afreye Barnier with Hearts of Oak in Ghana, but the vast majority of the squad playing their football around Europe in... Baba plays it forward. Cher seemed to be pulling there, and the referee agrees a free kick has been awarded. Andre Ayew. Switching the play out to that left-hand side. Jordan Ayew now, shooting opportunity. Here's Andre Ayew now. Barnier into the area, he went down there, Barnier, but Comart didn't commit a foul, says the referee. Play off. Homer just stood his ground here. Never a penalty, despite the howls from the Ghanaian supporters. Well, having said that, well, looking at that replay, maybe the gap. Diagonal ball across towards Barnier. Can he keep it in? Just about. Lamptey is there in support. Tariq Lamptey's ball into the area, easily crossed towards the back post, is over everybody though. Easy clearance for Vargas. Abisha and Albedi, the three players who've come on. Samet did well there. Offside flag. Dangerous ball into the area, but again, the referee's whistle blows. 